Hello and welcome to the Friends First Christian Dating coaching videos. Today I want to talk about how to make a long distance relationship work. Nobody would choose by choice a long distance relationship. But having said that, if you're in a dating agency, um, you may find that you meet somebody or you have been sent some details of somebody who does live a long way away from you. And if you are doing the right thing and contacting everybody that you have the opportunity to, then you may find that one day you meet somebody who's just right for you, but they do live a long way away. Perhaps also imagine another scenario that you go to a, a Christian event, um, like a friend of mine did, went on a Christian camp abroad and met this absolutely lovely man who she's fallen in love with, but she lives in England and he lives in Norway. So the question is, how do you make a long distance relationship work? Because I can assure you, you can make a long distance relationship work. And I think the first thing to remember here is that a long distance relationship is only for a season. It's not for the long term. I'm presuming here that you're looking to get married and uh, settle down with someone. My husband and I had a reasonably long distance relationship when we first started courting. Now we live in the same house. So it is definitely for a season only. So that's one thing to bear in mind. So how to make it work? I think there are some good principles to be aware of and I want to share some of those with you now. Take time to communicate regularly. That's a bit obvious, and, uh, but, it's, but it's something that you should really plan in and think about. Plan regular times when you're going to spend time communicating with each other. Use different methods of communication. Phone is one method, text is another, email is another, and as you probably know if you've seen any of my videos, letters are a fantastic way of getting to know somebody. But also use the technology that's available. Use Skype, use FaceTime, use Zoom, use Microsoft Teams so you can actually see someone. That's another really, really good way of feeling like you're with someone. Plan in times when you are going to meet them face to face. Perhaps you've got really busy schedules, perhaps you've got children, perhaps you've got commitments, perhaps you haven't got a lot of money, so traveling to each other isn't easy. All of those can be overcome. You can plan your trips and make sure that when you do plan your trips, you stick to the times. That's very important because it gives both of you something to look forward to. And if one of you cancels on a whim, that could be very distressing. In your communication, you know the phrase, don't go to bed angry, sort your quarrels out. Well, I would say in long distance relationships, if you have a disagreement, if you're angry with each other, if something goes wrong, don't resort to text. Try and sort it out in a, as much as a face-to-face -face way as possible. Now, if you're not together, that's going to be using something like Zoom or something where you can actually see someone. It's so easy to miscommunicate by email, by text, anything that doesn't have you um, having a two-way conversation. So that's another, another principle in long distance relationships. When you do plan to get together, plan what you're going to do with each other. It doesn't always have to be amazing outings. Plan some mundane stuff. So my friend, um, when they're Zooming together, they might, and when they meet each other, they might spend a bit of time doing the washing up, doing the laundry, cleaning the house, doing some exercise, all the sort of stuff that makes up our everyday life, but isn't necessarily fun date things to do. They also plan in time to meet their friends and family together, go to church together and pray together. All of those things are really, really important. Obviously, you don't have to be together to pray together. Um, but when you are together, then spending time with your family and friends is really important as well. My friend's very purposeful about her relationship. Because they're long distance, they are trying to really get to know each other quite quickly. So perhaps they don't have that period of time when they go to the cinema, going to a, a country, going on a country walk. They're, they're trying to be, um, not saying they don't do those things, but they're trying to find out a lot about each other because they're serious about getting married. And the sooner they can do that, the better. So those are just a few things that I hope are helpful in terms of having a long distance relationship. If you'd like to talk to us about any of these things or would like some coaching, please do give us a ring on 0208 088 3023. Thank you.